good morning, uh, Rich Thorne, President and CEO here from AGC of Utah. It's time for another uh, chapter update, and so we appreciate your taking a few minutes and uh, letting us give you a brief on what the chapter has been working on during the past week. Um, we're grateful that uh, each of you are checking in with us on a regular basis. We're also grateful for the leadership that we've seen uh, displayed from Governor Gary Herbert and his team as we transition to now Utah Leads Together 3.0. We want to, uh, again, it seems like we're saying thank you a lot, but we really do want to thank you for your vigilance in staying safe, for embracing the good, uh, adopting these best practices, and making sure that we're taking care of our employees. That's got to be uppermost in our mind. Uh, I want to share with you a couple of other things. Uh, during the past year, 2019, our Builders Committee spent nearly a year working very closely with the Division of Facilities Construction Management, Executive Director Jim Russell and his team in rewriting and uh, giving feedback and putting together a newly created uh, general conditions for DFCM. That assignment has now been completed. We anticipate the uh, hard work of the AGC Builders Committee being implemented uh, by DFCM uh, in relatively short order. As you might guess, with COVID-19, they've had to kind of redirect some of their resources and as such have had to put this uh, rewrite of the general conditions on the back burner. In talking with their leadership, we feel confident that you're going to see that work its way into the new specifications uh, again in a relatively short period of time. So stay tuned, keep an eye open for that. And thanks to the Builders Committee for their leadership in pulling that together. On the highway side of the civil side, we also want you to know that AGC has created and signed on to a document that's being sent to all members of Congress in the nation's capital, both members of the Senate and all four members of the House. This letter is encouraging them to act quickly and prudently and thoughtfully as they create a reliable uh, and dependable uh, funding path for federal highways and revenue that is so important to the Utah Department of Transportation specifically and to our membership and the state of Utah in general. Uh, a reliable funding source from Congress is something that we've had a challenge getting. Uh, and so we felt a letter of the congressional delegations they begin this process of debate would be helpful. And honestly, uh, members would encourage you to consider doing something similar. We've got information that we'd be happy to share. If you'd like to write a letter, we would welcome that. The more they hear from local constituents on the importance of this, the better. Uh, and then lastly, on uh, the transportation as well, today we'll be participating along with our partners from AGC of America and several other construction trade association and interested groups in a virtual transportation construction coalition fly-in. Normally a delegation of Utahns would be on an airplane uh, going to Washington, D.C to meet with the representatives in both the House and the Senate and talk about uh, this revenue stream. Uh, since uh, the pandemic has set in, we've had to do this in a virtual format and uh, there's a large number of people signed up from the state of Utah and across the country that will be hearing congressional leaders share their vision of what this uh, transportation funding stream may look like. So it's been another busy week. Uh, I will let you know that uh, we're reporting and checking in from our Southern Utah office, uh, here working with Kathy Tolleson, uh, our district manager and her team. Kathy's been busy. We're happy to report that she's been invited by Mayor Pike to help uh, with some input and direction on how uh, Washington County and specifically St. George City uh, is able to adopt some of the best practices and the information that AGC has been providing. We're grateful for her leadership and for the team that we've got down here and particularly your members that are working so hard each and every day on staying safe. Thanks for what you're doing. And until we see you next time, uh, be safe, make good choices. Thanks.